So you want to talk about, uh, speaking of taking risks and growing, you want to talk about Dreamer Podcast? Yeah. So um, you... Look at that. I'm y- running y- the questions y- now. Yeah, right? you are. <laughs> so you are the reason the Dreamer Comics Podcast is named the Dreamer Comics Podcast. No, you're the reason. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll disagree on that one. Yeah. But through a conversation between the two of us, mm-hmm. um, the Dreamer's Comic Podcast was, was formed. Yeah. And what, to you, kind of thought, what was your thought process in saying... Um, you know, it shouldn't be named. What was it named before? I'm trying to think what the what the name of it was before it. I think I was thinking of um, something like Thinker or something. I don't even remember what it was. Yeah. But I, I remember that. Look at that. There's a magic trick. I yeah. got you to forget. You got me to forget. It. <laughs> Dreamers was so good. So what was your your thought process when you were when we were talking about uh, creating the Dreamers comic podcast? Well, I think names are powerful, and so we all have one, and we know how it informs our lives. Right, and uh, as a guy named Ross, when I was growing up, there was nobody else named Ross, and so that really informs my identity. And I'm weird. I know sometimes I don't look like that, but let me assure you, I am a very, very strange person. But being strange and then having a unique name made me really encouraged to go my own way, which you know w- then informed my life as far as starting Boom and like doing my own thing has kind of been my deal. And so as I think about you know how do you name your company like. There was a letterer in the business who said to me one time that he believed that the names of companies are actually their secret identity. You know? And if you think about it that way, um, it's fascinating. You know, it's like, okay, how, if you look at DC Comics, uh, the name of DC stands for Detective Comics. So that does mean technically that that company is named Detective Comics. Comics, Comics yes. Uh, But its history from the 40s to the 50s was when Marvel was happening in the early 60s, uh, uh, post-timely when they were really doing superheroes, um, DC was a venerable New York publisher that was considered sort of like a kid's publisher. And so the name DC, like they were publishing more for like six-year-olds, and Stan comes in and publishes more for like 10-year-olds, and there's a huge market difference there. And so the notion of Marvel, or it's like Marvel at us, Marvel with us, look at our marvelous world that we're creating, is very uh, mythologically powerful to the audience. And DC kind of shows its more sort of like safe corporate roots with the name of DC. Now that name has tremendous legacy, which is I think also a part of DC's brand, which is one of the attractions of Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman is that they're, they have this tremendous mythic le- legacy. Yeah, they've so, been around for 100 years. You know? Yeah, and what else has been? Right, yeah. so it's it's very transcendent work, and so Dark Horse entered the publishing game in 1986 during the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles boom, and they were a Dark Horse candidate mm-hmm. to be somebody that would go the distance. They outlasted Kamiko and First and Eclipse and all of these pedigree publishers that had preceded them, and so they are literally the Dark Horse who has won the race over the past 30 years. And I could go on and on and on. Image was founded by uh, artists, and so they were driven by the image, and it's right there in the name. You wow. know, and it's a storytelling uh, medium. So names are super important. I knew when I started Boom that I was going to do something bigger. And it was going to, whatever we were, we were going to get bigger, and we're going to get bigger, and we're going to get bigger. And it's right there in the name. You know, it's, uh, my, my joke is the name of the company ain't Wimper. Yeah, right? So it's boom, let's, we're going we're gonna to go. keep growing and keep going. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, and so, so when you talk about the podcast, you know, when you were telling me wh- where you saw its position in the landscape, I was like, you know, you're, you're going to be talking to aspirational people. You're going to be talking to people that want to know more about comics. They either have aspirations to be a creator. Maybe they have aspirations to be a publisher. Maybe they have aspirations to work in the business. And that's a dream. And dreams are powerful. And dreams are the things that propel our lives. Dreams are the things that control our lives. We either get up in the morning and uh, under the shadow of the notion that we're not pursuing our dreams or we get up in the morning and have a fire in our belly because we are pursuing our dreams. And when I think about that word, there's fewer things in the world that are more powerful than what is your dream. Of course. And so to me, doing a podcast about what people are dreaming, what their lives can be, that's tremendous. Absolutely. And, and I think in the nomenclature, you know, that words are so powerful, you know, we see that every day in our world. It's like, how are you crafting uh, your future through what you're naming things? And to me, it was, it was, you know, it was very clear of like, okay, the word is dream. Yeah. Now then how do you articulate that? You know, and, and I think you, you settled on dreamer. Yeah. And I think the, 
the thing that was, I had three goals now with my content. You know, I have three things. My number one thing is I want to inspire people. Mm -hmm. I want to inspire people to go out and be passionate about what they love to do. Mm -hmm. If it's comic books and they love comic books, then I'm with them. I'm that's the, we share the same passion, and I want to, I want them to go and run with that and do that. If it's something else, I want to inspire them to go and follow that passion that they have. And they're like, oh, you know what? I, I love roofing. I'm gonna go do roofing. That yep. can be great. Like go go do that and be happy about it. Um, the second thing I want to do is I want to educate people. Yep. Um, I think a lot of the people, I, you know, I get questions, you know, with the podcast now every single day, like, mm -hmm. hey, I want to do a comic book. Can you teach me? Can you help me? And I always wanted to educate. And so what I do is if somebody kind of reaches out to me and goes, hey, wow, you know, how do I make a comic book? What's I kind of point them to an episode. I say, okay, what do you do? Here's a good episode to listen to. And that's kind of like, that's one of my goals is I have mm -hmm. this content. I can say, listen, I, I, I've educated you. Here's, here's the content. Yep. Um, and the third thing I want to do is entertain. Yep. I, I'm a huge fan of, of the medium, and I love when we learn about these characters, mm -hmm. and we, we learn about these these histories, this, the stories behind the stories of comic books. To me, that stuff is fascinating, and yep. it's really entertaining to me. Yep. And that's all three of those is, is, is really exciting stuff. Cool. Um, I'm going to take a second and say, I think I know why your parents named you Ross. Ah, why? Because Ross is the boss. Because <laughs> <laughs> names mean something there. Yeah, well, I don't think they knew that. I don't know. I was named after my dad's best friend. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, but I think that that name has kind of gone into your, has a, had an influence, had an in, impact on your life. And yeah. it's kind of made you, yeah. you know, you were like, okay, I'm going to be the boss of my own comic book publisher and, and create this this whole thing. And I think you were destined to be the boss in whatever field you chose. Well, the, uh, the other joke that we have about my name is, you know, it's a comic book name, right? So it's Ross Ritchie, it's Peter Parker, it's Clark Kent, it it's Bruce Banner. You know, it's just automatically, yep. it's like a Stan Lee name. So, you have that you know. uh, alliteration consonants. I don't know if it's consonants or alliteration. Uh, alliteration is with the consonants. Okay. So that's, uh, right, assonance is with the vowels. Okay. So, you know, if, if it was more alliteration and assonance, it would have been Rick Ritchie. Ah. Right? <laughs> but you I, could tell I thought about this. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I think it's, yeah. uh, you've, you've gone deep into your own name. You're like, <laughs> should I change it to Rick or is, is Ross good? <laughs> oh, I was told no in certain terms. Early on when I was a kid and I realized that my name made me different in elementary school, I, I came home and I informed my parents that I was changing my name and they let me know that that was not happening. <laughs> so, They're like, I'm sorry, you cannot be Rick. You have to stay Ross. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.